All right. Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome. Today we are going to do a kind of a new stuff. And since we have got less number of people, I would like to give a bomb as usual. And uh, so before I start, I would like to ask you one very, very simple question. So till yesterday, it was the financial year, you know, which has been done. In this last financial year, okay, what was the one thing that you feel if you have done would have made it much more better? Okay, just type it in the chat box. Or probably you can unmute an answer also. Just one or two, two, two words is good enough. In your last financial year, what if you have done would have been better? Very simple, right? So this is the first thing that I would like to ask. Then we're gonna design our today's remaining thirty minutes in a very powerful system. Okay, go. What is that thing? Uh, you know, only one thing. If you would have done, okay, would have given you a better yield a better person, a better system, better earning, better proficiency, or better finances, better commerce, better business, yeah? better relationship in business. What is that one thing? Okay, go ahead. That's the topic. Done? Yeah. No, no need to write anything. Just write it in the chat bar. Just only one thing if you would have done in this last financial year would have given you better results. That's it. Simple. Better results. Whatever the results. Typically, I'm talking about profession and business. Yeah, I'm not talking about personal. But both are interrelated, in fact. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Very short and sweet. Someone is saying joining first. All right. Okay. I said started a business a uh, little early. Yeah, good. Okay, so anything else? Okay, I should have uh, uh, just write it down. Write it down. Like what is what is that one thing you would have done in the last financial year would have been better. Okay, would have been better. Increase my turnover goal. Um, okay, so what is that one thing you would have done? Increased your turnover goal, that is a different thing. Okay, that is a goal only. So what you could have done, it's a doing part of it. Turnover goal, okay. Okay, go ahead. All right, so now since we have people participating here, but so I think more of it all are all are trying to just check it out. You know? Let me let me tell you, I have found out certain things, and uh, this has given a big 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 booster to me. Okay, uh, just a second. Hold on. So today I thought of you know sharing a very different scenario with you guys. Just one second, hold on. Um, so I have a small case study. So this is something that I've been like you know working for quite some time, and uh, let me see if I can just do that okay for you guys also. Yeah, I got this. <coughs> mute, mute. Okay, so. Ask me almost at a extremely difficult time. Ten minutes on, I have a webinar coming. Okay, my discussion. But anyway, I will still have five minutes. So, well, uh... All are my students, so they know exactly how I started because they have all come through the webinar and that uh, I think three day or five day process. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. So, and I have uh, shared with them how my journey was during COVID. See, before COVID, my situation was something else. I was a high flying corporate trainer making good amount of salary and everything was like everything is life is so nice it's uh, i was always seeing the greener side of life but covid was the biggest slap on my face and i will be honest i remember you approached me before covid once and uh, you at that point of time you were charging i think 20k and i did not take it i still remember i did not take it and i was just i, I know everything and it's like 
that was the situation but covid was the biggest uh, like pain point for me and when i came to a situation when i realized that i'm i'm in a no man's land now no guarantee job will be there tomorrow or not because already they had started the deduction of 20% i was in a situation where i had to start something online else there was no other because right now nobody could come to my home and learn take tuitions at that time i had some offline coaching as well but this time with covid that was not possible then i went for this and uh, i still remember at that time the charge that you charged me it was three times 60000 i have those <laughs> proofs if you remember i i was not uh, in a situation at that point of time to go ahead with it yet somehow i backed myself that if it is a difficult situation i'm gone both ways so let's take the deal i went for it 3 to 4 months i focused on what exactly amit said i implemented his principles and uh, i don't know whether i can show this to all of you okay just one second good good you asked me this let me zoom you can share your screen okay here it doesn't show but i'll uh, show that if it comes up so anyway i'll show this this month i uh, filed the gst the other part is getting synchronized yeah this month do you know what what is the gst that i'll be filing i'll be paying guess this month which i'll be doing this uh, for february i'll be doing a complete filing of 90000 rupees wow. gst filing so you can imagine this is additional to the revenue and everything profit after profit this is the filing that i'll be doing this month and when i started i was not even sure whether <laughs> I would be able to. Yeah, I think it has opened. Amna, I'll show it to you. See that this is my CS chat, and uh, I'll show this to all of you. See, can you see this WhatsApp, all of you? This is from my CA, yeah. my tax consultant. You can see it here at the top. So he says, "Call me when you are free." His name is Sunil Ji. So this is the one. Share me the invoice. You can see for yourselves. Here, the one highlighted in yellow. Ninety thousand seven hundred fifty-two rupees. I'd be filing this month, all because of. believing in what amit said implementing it and seeing the results i started with zero i started with zero and this is the highest gst that i'll be paying this time so even our previous month it was almost 50 50k 70k something around that but this is almost i have crossed my barrier and i think last to last month i i was giving a webinar on l3 and i said to people that i'll be i'll be targeting more revenue only last month i have i'll show my ebita sheet to all of you i don't know whether i have, have it yeah yeah february i closed february and i'll show this uh, sheet my february master as well just a second and the best thing the best thing i did not take one penny from the bank awesome I closed at five point seven five last month, five point seven five lakh last last month. This is my uh, February March master. All because see people, what I have learned is what Amit once said to me that middle class remains middle class, the lower class remains lower class, and the rich class always become rich class because they have a mindset, and that mindset is to work relentlessly to achieve a dream. they don't take no for an answer they are always moving ahead taking risks risks in life because they know they are investing in themselves then only they grow if they don't invest in themselves they will never grow they will be where they are and somehow retire okay i am happy with that emi i personally am from a middle class background personally and me filing 90000 gst month on month it's a huge achievement for me and right now my dream is some day if i can get a certificate from the government of india as one of the honest tax payers of this country that is my dream if i can get it i'll definitely show it to others as well so anyway definitely. people it's up to you your choice your career your destiny opportunities come once some people take the opportunity some miss out and one thing one more thing i've learned saving money is a scam this is what i've learned in life you cannot save money you can only make money try to save money today or tomorrow something will happen and you will lose it it happens agree or disagree think on this saving money doesn't happen 
you can try how much will you save how much will you save instead of four chapatis you will take three chapatis you cannot be hungry but what you can do is you can find a way to bring 10 more chapatis to your table that is the key to success that i am moving ahead to make money rather than trying to save because you cannot save money i tried lot to save money it never happened but now i am making money and obviously the by default it will get saved right so amit i'll be okay so what is what is your take on this what is your take on this okay this is a guy who has just started okay he has just started and now he has gone to a level of around 90000 one lakh rupees filing per month and he has started almost in zero so basically he has done a three point step okay so it's a three point step and for that first point for me to disclose today how many of you guys want me to tell you the three points today itself? okay in the next five minutes okay but for me to tell you you need to do a small favor so the favor that you have to do is i'm going to give you this idea master sheet okay so this for everyone and in this you will find uh, i've already shared with you so other people can share with that so in this entire thing okay you are trying to find out what you are going to do in not in this particular financial year but in this month itself how many guys are okay with that okay whatever he has done he has taken almost like 3 years this gentleman started something he failed so very miserably he lost some good amount of money then he started something else it took almost one year for him to get an you know a hold of it okay and then ultimately that also did not work so when he came to me it was just around 6 months and in 6 months from zero so he was a corporate uh, going person 9 to 5 guy then doing multiple things so how did you make out time how did you make out time for himself and his family how did you take care of his health by the way he met with an accident and he broke you know broke his leg and in the same month he made you know uh, this is the progress that i am talking about now he has created something which is called an autonomy so he does not have to take 9 to 5 you know off there is uh, no extra tension now and all these things is happening because he is following the same three point of steps that i am giving it to you good happy so if you need to do something on that the first thing you need to do is first identify okay what are your burning pain that you feel is holding you from doing anything for your business okay even if you are doing something good about business also you also know you might be closing a deal but you might not be able to operate that or you are operating it you might not have a proper team into this so whatever it is write down the 10 dimensions of this thing so in this page once you have uh, you know gone to this page so this is how you going to fill it up okay so put your details there and you put here my life my time here you put my new financial year okay here you going to put my new financial year okay and then here you put down all the obstructions that you think that you think you know if removed can give you a fantastic life very simplified okay give me 10 things that can possibly hold you down okay for me i have a big problem i am a perfectionist so sometimes because of this perfection i i lose out certain points so that is a big big thing so sometimes i look at perfection from somebody else and that gives me a nightmare of things because i just do it i just wait but it did not happen <clears throat> okay uh, second thing is sometimes i feel very lazy to inspect okay anyone like me okay lazy to inspect that is my problem okay because i trust people so much i trust myself so much i trust my software i trust my every everything i think everything will fall into its place sab acche honge eh nahi honge i think you know acche din aayenge nahi aayenge you have to create all these things for that you have to inspect so that is one of my problems write down your 10 problems go quick 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 fill it up fill it up fill it up it's going to be fun okay okay very quickly so technically it's a new year from today so how are you going to utilize this new year how are you going to uh, you know safeguard this new year unless until you know how to safeguard 
right? Go ahead, quick. Go. Okay. So now if you have done it. All right, so after you have done, I'll go and share you a structure by which you will understand how to take care of this, yeah? All right, go ahead, go ahead, fill it up. Yeah, it's called fear factors. Yeah, write down your fear factors. Okay, good. So since we do not disclose anyone's name, anyone's data, this is completely GDPR enabled. So I'll just show you. Okay, we have received something. Okay, other people, please you know, press your submit button. Even if it is two points, three points, it is good. If, if you have 10 out of 10, then your mind is in flow stage. Flow stage means a state where you can give directions to any kind of things that comes to you. You are technically a God mode's first initiator. You can typically generate ideas of anything. If you are stuck with anything, you should be able to get an idea out of it. Okay, go. Right, done. So I'll just take some, you know, a random, some three or four issues that has came to me. Okay. So it looks like this. Fear factors, financial risk. I'm sure this person has taken either a loan or a credit or something by which he has got this risk. Okay, that is one of the biggest fear factors. How to pay off the loan, okay? How to ease my things. There are some people who are now, because once it is it is not the problem of the loan. It is the um, it is the ineffective way of repaying the loan and undergoing this mental trauma of thousand times people who are calling you to recover the money. That is the biggest pain. Yes or no? The pain is not about taking loan. The pain is about how to face the situation when I am not able to pay the loan. Right? Then daughter's marriage, yeah. That is also one of the biggest fears. Okay? I think not only daughter's marriage, any kind of events which are very personal to our relationship is uh, something which is very, very, uh, you know, uh, what should I say, emotionally that binds you. Yeah. Home loan, yeah, the same thing. Financial risk and home loan. Okay. So I think this is a very powerful fear factor. So in the new financial, you know, yeah, these are certain things which if you need to work out, then... Uh, there has to be a good planning, right? You need certain things to change where you are and where you want to be. And this can start within the first 30 days itself, okay? I'll tell you a very, very powerful gift that I have for you guys. Procrastination, yes. Procrastination, you have everything. So this is also called as initiation. Sometimes it's called as a switch, okay? So look, very simple. We have, we have a motor, we have a tank on top, we have a water down there. Are you guys able to see? Everyone, we have it, right? There is a motor, there is a tank on top, and there is a water. Unless and until switch you, you switch that on, even if you have the motor, even if you have the water, even if you have the tank, every goddamn thing, you don't get the water. Yes or no? Right? So, you will understand the value of that switch only when you are completely thirsty or you need that water. Hello. 
right? So procrastination is not your fault. It is a lack of your awareness, lack of that that uh, spark because you are not yet hungry, not yet thirsty. You have not yet got to that fear stage. So there is nothing called procrastination according to me. It's only like you are you are not in that right time. Yeah, you are still lazy probably. You are not proactive. So uh, that is one of the biggest challenge definitely. Then lower self. Oh man, I know with this. Uh, I am like this. What to do? How to face this? And you have got so much of things. Oh, I cannot do that. This is not for me. I am born like this. I have this much money. I cannot pay uh, all. What if? And I cannot. Then getting into some loops, absolutely. So getting into some loops is another thing that happens because of your distraction and deflection. Dropping of our energy. Yeah, dropping of energy is also similarly connected. Sometimes you get bored with what you're doing. And let me tell you this. Today is a Monday morning. Majority of the persons, I do not know the percentage, but they are all going to their job, not because of a passion, not because of fun, not because of happiness, but they are going because of compulsion, either to support all the loans and financial risks that they have taken, or to support their love and relationship because that's the responsibility they have taken, yes or no? Right? Technically, who wants to go for a job if these two things are not there? I will never go. Yeah. Are you guys with me? Hello? So, when you go to a certain place with a half-heartedness, you tell me what is the output going to be. And I will tell you what will happen. So, I, I was there in that morning and there was a factory there. Everyone was rushing. Why? Because 9 o'clock you have to touch that. How many of you guys are understanding? 9 o'clock you have to... Uh, there is something, right? Biometrics, you have to sign in and all. So, the energy that is built up before that might be for let's say two hours, they wake up, they take bath, they prepare their food, they you know, take their kids to school and all those things. That energy is supreme. Why? Because nine o'clock I have to do this. They rush, they hurry, they take every plans and measures to reach exactly on time. But once they have touched it before nine o'clock, suddenly that energy directly drops off. Yes or no? Why? Now they're mentally secured. Oh, today's 50% of the money is not wasted. Today I will, I'm, I'm not late. How many of you guys are with me? This happens? Yeah, 50%. Sometimes they take, take the money out if you are, if you are delayed, you know, if you are late. And uh, this is something which they like it. So I've seen this energy drop because when you reach to a certain point and you do your first part of the things, then suddenly something very happens. Some people, they reach to a X level of money, X level of a business, X level of certain things. Then the energy done. Now everything is good. I am financially happy, sir. In my account, I have got this much amount of money. This guy also had. He was getting kind of a good salary. But everything gone off. And it is not about COVID. You know, he was survived uh, almost like for almost a year with only like 70% of the salary. Forget about bonus and rise and appraisals and all those things. No. So anything can happen. He never planned for this COVID. He planned. He's an expert in mutual funds and life insurance and all these things. But he could not plan for COVID. How many of you guys have plans for COVID one more time? Just give me a high five. Do you have plans? What are you going to do? If everything goes off? Tomorrow, if there is nothing, then what are you going to do? All right? Many of us have not planned. Even I also suffered a very big, major financial setback at the time of COVID. I had to sell off my... My one of the biggest businesses out there. Uh, it was something which is a very, very capital intensive, and it was pain for me to you know, take it off. Yeah. Prioritization missing. Yeah. So I think for the new, for this person, the, all the five points are very powerful. Now, regarding this person trying to save money, go, go ahead, do it. Money is like that water. The more you squeeze it, the more it's going to come out, man. Yeah. Hesitation to start new things, of course, because your past experiences, past pain, past memory is not allowing you to do that. Not able to come out of job mentally. Absolutely. Yeah. So it is you not doing it or what is it? So I, I feel there is a lot of tension which is happening in the mind, not in the body, not in the planning. You, you never complain about planning, sir. You complain about mind. I have pain, but I do not know the solution. Okay. Then what you should do? I have a heart problem. 
but I am not an MBBS doctor, right? I cannot do the surgery with myself. So I have to go to that fellow who knows it. So how many of you guys agree to this? Okay. You need to go to somebody who knows bloody the pain more than you know the pain. And who is that guy? Where can you find him? Is he genuine? Is he open to talk to you? Is he someone who has already gone through some, some nonsenses that you are going through? Find that fellow out. There should be someone who has already worked in your pain areas. Yes or no? There should be someone. Yeah? So who is your easiest approach? Go and talk to him. Him or her, or whatever. Find, figure it out. I'm sure there is somebody who is alive or dead, has done some kind of a good work. Figure it out. Read their books, I'm sure. But no, you don't have time. So I think this is a very powerful thing. Okay. Uh, this person has next financial plans for success. Get committed people. How are you going to get committed people if you do not know communications? Yeah? Because if you don't give them clarity, if you don't give them training, if you don't give them the tools and the process and you become a constant monitoring system, then you are never going to get these guys. Okay? Committed people, you cannot get boss. You need to create. Hello? I'm telling you from my experience. You cannot get. So the only way of creation is you demonstrate and they see you. You create their culture. How are you going to learn that? Unfortunately, there is no book which teaches you that. Unfortunately, there is nothing. Yeah, check it out. So for that, I think there are systems and processes I have created out there. Train the staff. Are Baba, before you train, I'm just sharing you. This is something I do for uh, you know the mental level of people or people who are getting into consultations. For people to train, how do you know this guy already knows? He might be knowing better than you. He might be knowing under than you. Yes or no? So how did you? So why did you hire this guy first of all, who does not have the training? Right? Your job would have been much more easier if you have already taken somebody who is already trained into that. So there is an eligibility criteria. Then there is an. Uh, by the way, guys, there is something uh, for uh, hiring also. Okay, I don't know uh, if I can show you that. Okay, uh, just a second. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, for hiring, usually there is a small test, right? We call it as the IQ test. Hello, have you heard of that? Okay, for hiring, uh, nowadays, there is something else. It is called as IQ versus EQ versus SQ. So what is your intelligent quotient versus your emotional intelligence quotient versus your social uh, intelligence, you know, intelligence quotient, okay? So how to know about that? Aap chale training mein. How do you know that training is going to benefit him? How do you know the training is going to benefit the organization? How do you know the training is good treatment? When is the next training required? Why do you need a training in the first place? Did you get my point? Why do you need a training in the first place? Many people think, no, need train karna hai. Why? Okay? Because still you are human dependent if you need a training. Did you get my point, sir? You are still human being dependent. Can you outsource it? Can you automate it? So these are certain things you know people need consultation on. Yeah. So here is the place where probably I can give you this three amazing powerful system. Okay. Many of you guys, I cannot go with everyone, guys. So I'm just quickly just finishing it up in the next one minute. Collaborate with people, uh, fulfill my beyond my business capacities. Okay. How are you going to collaborate? If you do not know who is this fire guy. If you do not know how to find his eligibility, if you do not know his IQ, SQ, EQ, and all those things, and if you do not know how to communicate, how are you going to approach? Majority of the people, they have an amazing wisdom, amazing knowledge. Okay, I know many of you guys, you have got amazing skills, but probably either other people doesn't know who the hell you are with in terms of knowledge and power and skills. Yes or no? Or you do not know what are your powers? or you do not know how to go. So there are three levels of points, right? Either other people don't know who the hell you are and what you can do for him, or you do not know what are your powers. I mean, still that is the base part. So better part is people doesn't know. The second thing is, you know, uh, you do not know what you are good at. And the middle part is you have all the powers, you know the skills, but probably you do not know how to approach. You do not know how to initiate. You need that goddamn bloody switch. Yes or no? These are the only three problems. Okay. So 
wrong people in the wrong place with the wrong tool, big problem. Right? Wrong people, wrong tool with the wrong place is a big problem. Right people with the right tool, with the right, all the process and everything, it is a it is not a God's job. It is something which we human beings have done. That's why we have created so much beautiful things around it, man. Right? Today's session is very powerful in terms. Learn about late, latest technology. Are how long? How long you are going to learn your listen to this, guys? It is not technology which makes us advanced. It is how you implement certain things that makes you advanced than others. How long can you learn? Keep on learning. See, I have got many IT people, okay, who are friends. They are now at an age where they are supposed to retire. I know somebody inside my family, okay. He is almost about to retire. Now the company wants him to go through a new program or a new process and all these things. Do you think it is his age to do that? Am I right, sir? And he's just about to retire. And at this point, in this last one or two years, he has been underperforming. Why? Because he's not fit with something that he has done so many years. It is a new technology. It needs a new kind of an environment. It needs a new mindset, new concept and all those things. He's not able to be fit. So how long you can keep on learning, waiting for new? Oh, today is new, 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 new. Okay. How can we adapt without learning? How can you get into that new zone? You now to be updated with the latest stuff. So I'm not asking you to learn. I'm asking you in a different dimensions. So there are a lot of new technologies are there which can probably speed certain things to 10x, 20x. I'm not asking you to learn the thing. I'm asking you, learn what does this particular thing do? There is someone who has spent a lot of time, energy, money, effort to learn that thing. How can you connect with that guy? How can you get the best benefit out of it? Rather than you learning this entire thing. It is like I have a heart pen. There is the latest technology in cardiac surgery. Let me do MBBS first, then I will do two years of MB, MD, then I'm going to take the entire thing, put it inside. You want to do that? This is what you want to do now. Okay. That's what. It's not going to work. So, <clears throat> yeah. So, thank you so much. There are a lot of people are now responding here. So, I think this is a very powerful session today. That's why I'm recording it in separate. This is not going to be there on YouTube or Facebook. Okay. This is absolutely for my family who are here. I'm going to personally send you as a mail. Uh, on, on this. So getting the right kind of customers. Okay, fine. I got this. More traveling because of work. What is your age now? How long can you put more energy on your travel? So when you travel more, then what happens? You are away from your family. You are away from your own personal areas. This is already a discomfort. I know that. I travel a lot. Yeah. But after some time, your, your physical body would probably need a different kind of a, a way of living. Time consuming household work. Yeah. Why are, are you still doing an household work? Because I think the finances are not managed properly or you are not able to uh, reroute the finances to somebody who can get the things done. So delegation problem, clarity problem, system problem, tool problem. I have seen people hire certain people, okay? But they don't give the process and tools. Yeah. So for example, I have a car. That car needs to be washed unless and until I give him the soap, water and all this you know, cleaning equipments. This guy, even if he is a great guy, he will not be able to perform, yes or no? I give him low quality of the products, then his output is also going to be low quality. Yes or no? Yeah? So that's what. Family, friends, objection to everything. Then either you are not able to convince, either you are not able to you know, uh, share that kind of a transparent information, rather than they supporting you on your journey. Now they are all becoming the roadblocks in your journey. Now tell me one thing, if these people who are who are your family members, they're constantly stopping you to do something. It is like you are driving a car with brakes on. How long can you go with the brakes on? At one point of time, the friction is going to be so heated up. Then uh, probably the car will break down. The tires will go off. You know, the brake pads will not be there. Ultimately, you stop. Even if you are driving some very luxury car, very high Honda car also, but you cannot drive with your brakes on. That means you lack that communication. So everything boils down to only two things. Dada, I do not know because I do not know the skill of how to search. Dada, I do not know how to share my thoughts or how to receive somebody's thoughts. Lack of communication skills. And those people who have a financial problem, it is financial problem because you do not know how you close the deal. Everything is boiling down to three systems. Are you guys able to see? 
Yeah, I've not yet read. But anything which is having a problem, I think these three skills are very, very powerful. And this, whatever I'm showing you on screen, this is not mine. This is for people who are participating here. It's a random topic. No one knew about today's topic. And I've given this question. They filled up the form and this here. Now, just glance through this, okay? Take 30 seconds. Viewers, people who are watching this video, wherever you are watching, just take 30 seconds, look on the screen. If any of the problem is resonating with you, any of the problem, Okay, just give me a high five if it is any of the problem, anyone's problem. Good? Good. Other than these three skills, is there any other skill that can help you? Okay, do you think this is this is the Brahmagyan? Other than these three skills, is there any other skill that can help you? Because the moment you know how to search, the moment you know how to communicate, the moment you know how to close a deal, you are God. You are God, man. You're God. Okay. Sit back. Lack of confidence. Same thing. Lack of confidence. Hesitation. Afraid. Health issues. Yeah. Everything can be solved. Eye to eye contact with everyone. That's okay. Self-belief. Work tirelessly. Get out of the comfort zone. Work together. Higher self. So these are your, your directives. Okay. So how many of you guys found that there is a big problem. But how come out of all, let me tell you this, in this world, more than 8 billion people are there. Everyone cannot be chairman of a company. Everyone cannot be a top level guy. Why? Because they have the same stereotypical things. Now, let me tell you the good thing that you have done today. You have came to this session. This session is designed exactly at seven o'clock. Many people, they can't even afford, even if they want, they can't afford to come down and spend this you know, 30 minutes to one hour with me. Why? Because they have other responsibilities, other priorities, which they think it is priorities. According to Robert Kiyosaki, there is a beautiful thing. He says, you know, rich people have assets, poor people have liabilities. Yes or no? Rich people have assets, poor people have liabilities, but poor people think that liabilities are their assets. Did you get my point, sir? It is not my word. It is Robert Kiyosaki's word. So today, I thought of giving you some very powerful dope, very, very powerful dope. So, um, so there, are, there are three things that I would like to share with you, which can help you to change everything in this month, this month, okay? Why I'm sharing you this? Because March is my birth month, so that is almost over. So I thought of giving it to you as an extension. So if you are willing to run the way I tell you how to run, for the remaining 30 days, are you participating in this challenge? Every day, I'm going to give you certain things. Okay. And by the way, this challenge is something which is not going to be just like, you know, any, any other things, any Tom, Dick and Harry is doing it now. Because every day, you will be monitoring. You fail to monitor, then you are out of the challenge. My headache is over now. Why I'm taking this headache? Good. If you fail, to take off this challenge over. So just quickly letting you know, what are the growth capacities that you can think in your business? So these are the three very powerful systems that I'm going to give it to you guys, okay? It's called as innovation. Then it will be customer-centric focus. And the third thing is called strategic marketing, okay? Only these three things. These are the only three things we'll be focusing in this. By the way, many of you guys might not know or you might know, that there is a session which is called as God Mode On. Okay. It's a God Mode where you start creating ideas. Even if you don't have a business, even if you're coming for the first time, even if you have failed multiple times in your life, even you might be a billionaire or billionaire also, everyone who wants to create a new dimension of their life, created to the automation from scratch without using any kind of paid tools, without using any kind of uh, so-called fancy systems and complex digital stuff and all these things, okay? Complex analytics and no, very simple. How do you get your first offbeat client? That means not the stereotypical things that you have done. It is absolutely new. For this person whom I just showed you, he was an expert in mutual fund. What he's doing now? Now he is training many people to send them to Canada because he's teaching them how to speak in English. Absolutely different thing, right? He's been certified by British Council and many other things he has done. That's a different thing. 
But now he is doing something which is not his forte. He is a trainer in one of the India's largest logistic company also. Yeah, he is in a very very premium position. But now he is doing something different. So if you are trained into something, let's say I have worked for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. Now suddenly if I tell you change course because this is what is called as firefighting. You know, you should be always ready for changing anything. So the first thing and the innovation, the driving force behind the new products and services, how you can create better, efficient and fantastic products or solutions. See, I'll give you a very simple thing. Okay. And uh, this is something which is given in one of our Vedic system. Vedic system. Okay, so I'm not sure about the, the name of the article or the book or the who has told, but this is a very simple thing. Okay. In India, there are so many products are there which are not standardized. So one product in X area has, you know, let's say 10 rupees. The other area, it might be 5 rupees or 100 rupees. Correct? There is a standardized rate for one particular thing. If you can create a just a logistic system to take up, you know, a, a product of same quality, which is cheaper to the place where there is high demand, automatically you have a million dollar idea in million dollar business. Yes or no? Just simple. A simple transportation. How many of you guys are with me? Simple. Take the product. See what these guys are doing. Who are a retail? The shopkeepers. They buy the product at a cheaper price and they sell it to you with a margin. Hello? That's it, right? There is no, no brain into that. Okay. So what is margin? What is profit? Profit is a lie. Are you guys getting this? Profit is a lie of your winning edge. Yeah. How many of you guys have seen some shopkeepers telling, sir, margin nahi bachega, sir. That is the last discount I can give it to you. Yes or no? Please understand. No one is going to sell you anything at their own loss. There is no. No one. So it is a lie. Sir, mera kuch nahi bachega, bach rahe. Yeah. So how do you do that? How do you create the best offers? How do you create the system and process? So this God mode that we are starting tomorrow, this is going to be a one month solid, solid structure. I'm going to give them all the dimensions of how to go and headhunt people. How do you create something by which people would automatically, they are going to connect it with you. Yeah, it will be a magnetic pull. It is easier. Pulling is easier than pushing. You cannot go and knock doors everyone. Gone are those old traditional way. I will go talk one to one. How many man? What is your age? How long can you do all these things? You cannot. So there has to be a system and a process by which you can go and connect with hundreds of people every day. Even if you are not well, even if you are in the on the bed, how you are going to connect? Yeah. So that is something. And how are you going to connect the right guy at the right time, at the right place with the right communication? How many of you guys are okay getting with this? Yeah. So that is one part. The second thing is encourages continuous improvement in the process. So you create a process the process, so there is a beautiful thing, okay? Man makes mistakes, machine does not make mistakes. So man creates the, the, the observation systems or, you know, how do you do all these inspections? And machine does follow that. You cannot fight with the machine in this era, yes or no? Because machine can do many things automatically. They can, they can learn certain things faster. They don't take holidays. Yeah, they don't have emotions out there. Yeah. Nay, tomorrow is my, you know, uh, someone's uh, anniversary. No, there's nothing. So you cannot fight with efficiency with the machines. So how do you encourage continuous improvement in the process? Only you take care of the process. The machine takes care of everything. I will show you. How do you create that? How can you create competition differentiators? Okay, competition differentiators. Even if you are selling the same product, even if there is nothing else, you are just selling your own skills. And he also said me, so I'll tell you what I have done for him. So the example that I've given to him, he is an English speaking or English trainer. How many of you guys think English trainer koi bhi ban jayega? Just give me a high five. Anyone can become an English trainer? Yes or no? Achha, in your locality, just imagine in only one kilometer areas, Let's say I, I take care of every goddamn thing. How many people can become an English teacher? Everyone. Yes or no? Right? So how do you create a competition differentiator? 
So I told him, why don't you teach English to those women or ladies who are getting married in Canada? Aha moment. Okay. Those people. So basically, where to connect? Most of the people, they go to abroad. Okay. So there are two kinds of things that he has now. There are a lot of people who go from Kerala and this area. They go to UAE. They have a different kind of a language there. Yes or no? Okay. And many people from Haryana, Punjab, and Chandigarh and all these places, they go to you know Canada for many purposes. So not only marriage purpose, but whoever it is. And typically for ladies, because sometimes they are they are not able to express. Their environment is not like that. Even if they know the language, they are not that fluent. So this is a very, very powerful. So now, if you search, he is the only person who can help you exactly with that phonetics, tonality, language, and voice, and many other things which is appropriate for anyone who has this kind of an accent oriented issues when they go to Canada, how they speak about it. How are you guys getting an aha moment? I just changed a little bit and everything changed. Hello? Did I get my point, sir? So it is not doing new things. It is doing the same things that other people think is, is innovations. Yeah. So how I can leverage your skills, your experience, your learnings, in a new format that people accept you as something absolutely new, absolutely gorgeous. That's why this God mode has been created. Okay. So what is God? So where you are generating new ideas, you are optimizing and organizing new solutions in a particular fashion. Okay. And this is all been done, not because you need it. See, this particular year, as I'm talking to you, gone are those days that, sir, Acha, tell me one thing. How many of you guys have seen a proposal, a business proposal in your life? All of you guys, so in the business proposal, what it talks about? The first thing it talks about, my company best, my product best, my customer this big, I am spread in this many countries. I have. It's all about me, 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 me. Yes or no? The first 15 minutes of your discussion is all about me. I am great. I've got this certificate, this thing, that thing. Hello. Just give me a high five. Touch your heart and tell me this is what you are also doing. Yes or no? Yeah. When you go to interview also, you told the same thing. Okay, sir, I am this, I have that, I have all this college, that college, this certificate, this medal, blah, blah. <laughs> no. This is truth. That's why the dimensions of business is changing now. Why? Because it is all about somebody's pain that you are relieving. So it is a completely a competition-oriented system. Okay. How? Because if you are talking about yourself, your competition is also talking about yourself. So how do you change that? Okay. Don't talk anything about yourself. So the first thing that you do is understanding customer needs and preferences. How can you do it? You do not have the power to search. You don't have the skill. You don't have the tools. You don't have the team. You don't have the system and process. You cannot do search. What if, if I can teach you all these things in less than two days? Simple. How much time it needs? Half an hour to one hour max. If you don't learn it there, you are going to do the same thing again and again. Next one, okay? Enhancing customer services and experiences. So there is a, there is a particular data. I'm not able to show you the data. Okay, I am, and if I can do it, that will be great. So the data says people are not bothered about the price. People are not bothered about the product. People are not bothered about the solution. People are not even bothered about the company. People are always shown and there is a huge amount of data out there please go and search it out it is always the buying journey it is always the purchasing conditions purchasing pattern and the purchasing experience that has given the best mileage yes or no how many of you guys remember the first house you have purchased first bike you have purchased first first uh, you know whatever relationship that you have gone through hello you all remember that yes or no this signs and what is happening? You're talking continuously about your product, your brand. People are not bothered, boss. So it's a different guy, dimension now. So next one, building loyalty and long-term relationship. How do you create a value cycle? When I say value, I'm not talking about charity. Okay, value has a different format. Charity is different. I have seen many people, they are called as relationships, you know, guys, you know, they, they continuously get into this relationship system. They keep on doing, building, 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 thinking one day this guy is going to buy something from me, which is never going to happen. Because 
you are just morally connected or emotionally connected, but technically you are not. Why? Because you are not adding value. Value has a particular formula. How many guys are with me so far? Yeah. And the next one, strategic marketing. What is strategic marketing? Identifying your targets. Okay. Your your uh, uh, targeting the right market segment. So this is called ICP. Okay. Ideal customer customer persona. How do you identify this? So in today's business, there is a very powerful system. I'm going to tell you. You need to work with a person who has a pain that he knows right now, and it will be intense. Only that guy is going to be working with you. Yes or no? Getting me? Your customers, your prospects should have their pain in an intense level right now. Not tomorrow, not day after tomorrow. No, not in past. Today. Second thing, your person should have capability to pay you off. Hello? Very powerful thing. You have a, you have a guy who has a lot of pain. He understands he has a pain and he needs the remedy right now. But if he does not have power to pay, then you are doing charity. Yeah, then you are doing charity. But when you know that you can help him. So today it is a different dimension. It is not about selling. It is also about assisted sales. So many of my clients and my prospects, when they say, Dada, I cannot afford you or afford your services, this is what I tell them. Okay, do you want help me to arrange funds for you? Is it a good approach? How many of you guys are able to see this? I can arrange fund for you. I can get you a bank to talk to you. I can get an NBFC to talk to you. So how do you learn this kind of a, you know, an assisted process oriented and a progressive business process? This is going to revolutionize the entire thing. Absolutely. Do you agree, sir? Just give me a high five if you understood this. It's a new dimension of doing business. It's no longer that you have to take the burden. Why not I take the burden for you? Are you guys with me? So utilizing data for informed decision making. How can you use the data? So let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Okay. Entrepreneurs are hardly around 1%. Entrepreneur mindset is hardly around 3%. Every year, 93.2% of the startup companies, they don't even got to see their eighth month. Do you know that? It is not my data. It has been given. Okay. I have a huge amount of things. The amount of uh, people who are being laid off is increasing drastically. The age-old system of traditional knowledge, the bookish knowledge, the academic and the institutional knowledge is not going to work. Today, in probably in, in, in manufacturing industries, in IT, in so retail and FMCG, there is something always new coming in. How long can you do like this? Freelancers have a big problem now. Yeah, The people who are in startups, you know your fate. Okay. So what are those qualities that can help you to build up a robust system? How can you go beyond that? How can you get people to come and invest in your company rather than you keeping on begging, sir, give me a place. I want to make money. It's not going to work. So the reason is this. You need an utilized data. So there are three things you have to learn. What are my powers? What are my team powers? What are my organization powers? What is my social power? And what are my political powers? When I say political power, I mean to say the power of the state, the laws of the land. Okay, what all things are allowed? Like many of you guys might not know that you can get 10 lakh without keeping any mortgage of, or any kind of bondages on assets. Do you know that? How many of you guys know that? You can get 10 lakh rupees. Yeah? So from where are you going to do that? And how do you get that? How fast can you get the money? So if you get 10 lakh rupees, can you start your business? If you get the 10 lakh from government of India, are you are you willing to start your business? The person who has never done that. Yeah, but it is not about 10 lakh, but when government of India is supporting you, that means you have a proper system, proper structure, proper means, and government of India is not going to spend money just like this. They have their own eligibility criteria. What if I can tell you all those points? Good? It's a small amount, but someone is willing to trust you. That is government. So how do you do that? Okay, next one. Embracing digital marketing trends for wider approach. Okay, you don't have to learn all these things now. What if I can teach you digital marketing with just only existing systems that you have? Don't buy anything. Don't put a single paisa in Facebook and Google. Are you guys with this? 90% or 99% of the digital marketing people who are watching this, 
they will pull their hello hell you know their entire hair off why because if you take out google and if you take out facebook they have nothing to do yes or no how can you reach out to potential people without getting into google and spending in google and spending on facebook a moment from zero and that is what is happening in god mode okay so now i'm going to give you like around 2 minutes okay you can write down your names and tell me how was the session for you and if anyone is interested to know about god mode we are starting tomorrow okay so we have for people who are in the family they have a different kind of a pricing for them but for people who are outsiders uh, definitely it is something which is uh, uh, what should i say it is is as good as like you know you're putting a kind of a travel plan this the money is going to be less than a travel plan okay national level travel plan you don't have to go international also <laughs> okay so just type in rmo okay which called as reach me out and somebody from the team can reach out to you okay we are starting it on tomorrow okay tomorrow night um we're going to have an induction session we have already done that so figure it out this is for people who are entrepreneurs new people homemakers people who are into this um, knowledge share industry people who are trying to become a consultant even if you don't have anything also you want to start your business and you have no idea go you don't have to learn a new thing listen god mode is not about learning a new new uh, you know a gizmo or a digital or a content hack no god mode is all about taking your expertise your learnings your systems that you have done your your all the things okay and then how can you monetize this and this is all happening because of one thing is constant idea mastery so what i'm doing is the same technique of idea mastery i'm using from last 20 years please write down your names share your thoughts and uh, this session is done so 20 years i've been using idea mastery so idea mastery gives you differential power of thinking at any given point of time you can think on multiple systems so if you practice it over a period of around 30 days to 40 days you will see your way of looking at things are getting into a director's perspective it is like you are lost in a jungle and suddenly you get a kind of a helicopter on top so it's a helicopter view will get of the entire area which will give you much more idea like which direction you have to go all right so with that let's open the panel for an open house discussion hours to decision over to you go uh, good morning good morning uh, and uh, happy new year new financial year to uh, you know understand the some some of the things which have to be done in the next year so i think it's the time to enter god mode to move forward dada thank okay. you so much please reach out to the team i think they will help you out we are starting tomorrow and uh, last year we have done only one session only one session we have worked with only four or five people that's all because the idea of god mode is to push you to that level where you start your business probably we can partner with you okay how many of you guys would like to partner with you know uh, my kind of a network openly i'm telling you my kind of a network is a different network you would never have to think <clears> of <throat> at least for um, uh, msp you know what is msp yeah for msp you don't have to think marketing sales and process these are the one of the biggest problems of a company yes or no mm -hmm. marketing sales and process so if you can put this uh, msp fantastic yeah go ahead next person today's session was uh, really very powerful dada and a lot of insights and especially you know dedicated focus on the problems that we raised over the form so that was really amazing and uh, thanks for all that thank you dada awesome good people who are watching this video if you want to you know reach us back to you us either you can write in wherever you are watching this you can put a comment we will get back to you within 24 hours or you can write at uh, office at dr amitnath.in whatever it is write down your pains and problems i'm telling you sit with me for at least like you know 20 minutes so this particular month first week i'm dedicated to those people also who wants to share their things share their put let's understand so uh, i usually charge uh, something for my one hour consulting but for a pre level of uh, an eligibility i always try to give around 20 minutes more why because if it is not fit let's not wait it's fine if it is something which i cannot do anything or probably my network of people cannot do anything so i typically just listen but i can guide you to somebody who can help you out if you can't afford us or our kind of systems absolutely fine fair so uh, 2024 and above we are also looking at consultants to work with us 
so you might be a printing consultant or you might be a storage consultant or you might be a you know an it consultant or you might be a social consultant or relationship consultant you are might be a travel and tourism consultant you might be an accounts consultant you are all welcome because the way we are doing it is we are creating human assets which typically your chat gpt and ai cannot take it over because at the end of every transaction you still now at least for the next couple of years you cannot take out the human value into this yes or no look what's the happening in the market only the low ticket item people are purchasing without a human assistance yes or no only the low ticket items look at the low ticket items which is typically done by the big four companies or any of the uh, the online retail what is their size maximum 1000 rupees to around a lakh rupees that's all right but when it comes to big that's an area where digital is still probably not capable okay it is not the problem of digital it is the problem we have not you know explored those dimensions so how to connect with those things there are so many companies which are still running on a stereotypical traditional way can we make it much more powerful can we take this to beyond beyond state beyond boundaries beyond nation yeah next person go ahead quick yeah uh, good morning everybody and a happy new year happy new financial year uh, uh, one good learning was today about uh, the collaboration which you always speak uh, the, it's about putting the right people uh, with the right tool and uh, in the right place okay which is uh, if this skill is mastered i think uh, uh, you know most of uh, i mean 100% for, I mean, according to me like 100% problem whatever we are facing currently we can get a break through of course there will be problems that will be put down but if we can have a lot of collaboration so today uh, outsourcing you know, not knowing how to outsource to the right person and with the right cost and with the right result that matters a lot for to fall for the business and if that is sorted out money can be made that's why good so how do you find the right vendor right uh, associate partners you need to search them how you don't know for if you have searched also how are you going to communicate communicate on financial terms communicate on commercial terms i mean financial commerce the same thing communication on on their kpis krls if you don't know how to communicate on those those languages then there is a problem even if you have communicated why they are going to work with you why you are going to work with them what is the kind of an understanding in terms of work and other stuff you have done but still you have not closed the deal what is their percentage what is your percentage what is their involvement what is their exit policies are you guys getting this three skills that's it three skills okay why not you invest on this three skills okay so i'm putting all these things club together in less than a month's time and you should be up and running by the 15th day you should be otherwise there is a problem see if you are driving a cycle on a road and if you fall down it is not the cycle's problem and the road's problem and the road's the guy who is telling you this is the road it is the thing is you might not have done enough practice so go ahead and do it that's it you don't have to learn 10000 things man i'm telling you you don't have to learn you have already learned you have given your time energy efficient to so many things you don't need one more thing all right next person and we'll stop with that go quick good morning dada good morning good morning everyone uh today is a financial year starting hai so mujhe to bhi itna kuch wo knowledge tha nahi but i just uh, take away one thing that money abhi jo interview dikha rahe the usme jo bol rahe the ki money saving is a big, big scam actually it is a big scam and we should utilize the money to do something the extra kuch kar and uh, i'm thinking on it good so many of you guys might be thinking about the the money rules or probably what do you call this you know uh, the principles of money right have you heard of this principles of money how many of you guys know what is principles of money anyone knows that yeah so na it's so funny okay do you want me to tell you the quickly the the uh, the money rules okay so money has certain rules baba so there is a structure so there are nine rules of money so quickly i'm giving you a very powerful okay nine rules of money the first one money loves freedom money loves freedom how much ever you bind it it's going to find out somewhere yes or no okay money loves freedom point number 2 money loves respect what is respect 
money loves to go with that guy who has a result driven attitude who has an experience who has the passion who has a skill yeah r e s p e c t okay has an an efficiency and commitment and a talent otherwise no are you guys getting this yeah so money loves respect result oriented people will always get money yes or no and money will come only when the result comes hello it is not about starting it is not about doing it is the end people don't start will never have money forget about that people don't finish they will also not have money right people don't continue they will not have consistent money yeah exactly so the next thing is money loves speed oh one day i will do no money is not for thinkers money is for doers did you get my point doer yeah money loves speed money loves to be right now i have to so how many of you guys are going to reach out to uh, or just type in god mode that's it god mode and you need to talk to the family right now find out you know what are when it is happening what is it happening and all the effects please talk to the team please talk to the team there is a proper structure there and it is tomorrow night tomorrow night we are going live we are going we are just hitting the things why because i might not do anything like this last year we did only one session we had all amazing four people they all went out very good people who have zero they went into multi pro systems yeah multi pro i'm talking about not lakhs now yeah then the next thing is money loves attention okay where attention goes energy goes where energy flows money flows simple right what is attention see attention is a wrong you know uh, it's a disclaimer guys attention means subtracting all nonsense and putting your all energy to one point yes or no okay look in my ways okay subtracting look at the subtraction subtraction is very painful you are something i'm cutting from your life and going out out it is very painful it is painful for for me to take the hobbies that you have it is painful for me to have this emotional you know subtraction from yourself it is painful for me to take out your daily routines and course and putting your energy to one thing it's very difficult yes or no are you guys understanding attain a t t a i n attain means to get no attain in motion attention attain action sorry attain in action so act act plus motion action right how are you going to do that next one money loves energy oh oh you know where you know where hello would you like to work with that guy okay so people here you, you are in a different energy money loves energy always will be, can you ever have you ever seen look at this guy man who is more than i think 80 years ratan ji tata have you ever seen sleeping a uh, have you ever seen this kind of guys have you seen elon musk slouching no why next one okay energy yeah so money has a posture buddy money has a posture you will see have you seen warren buffett ever like no he is like so old but still he is there why there is a reason next one money loves those who take risk are you willing to take a risk today simple paisa bacha ke koi fayda nahi hai what you are going to save money by itself does not work rule next rule money by itself does not work you have to put the money to work you have to invest the money somewhere that you, and the best way to invest the money is invest on yourself yeah i'm not asking you to buy any books and program no that is a different thing man go out and get a massage done man i'm telling you oil your own machine yes or no yeah get a good spa you will see you are much more powerful yes or no you will see yeah good next one is money loves to circulate money loves to circulate money will always flow to a place where there is more money hello money will always flow to a place where there is more money is today session powerful i'm giving you some very powerful things man money will always flow to a place where there is more money you take 2000 rupees the money will automatically find the place where it is with a lot of money yes or no when you will get chiller i'm telling you will get chiller <laughs> right next one is yeah i i told you right money loves those who take risk i told you right next one money loves confidence tell me will you do business with me if i say 
uh, so so we 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 have gone out this i'm charging you this no i'm telling you 30 days you give it to yourself we change every dimension no and at least we'll start this entire process at least the first thing is how to start the engine map and that's what you're going to do in the 30 days no stopping okay i purposely did not want it to start today people think that the april fools day we are a fool if we don't take opportunity right now yes or no you don't need other people to make fool no one can make you fool if you are enlightened inside yes or no did you get my point forget about april fools day this is the something that i'm going to tell you today no one can make pe people as a fool if you are enlightened inside if you are aware if you are aware and you are awake and you are acting then no one can make you a fool promise okay last one money loves value money loves the value so ending this powerful system i would like to share a very small uh, photo and uh, i don't know if i can show it to you guys okay, one second just a second i think so i should be able to show you the photo okay who wants to buy this this is a piece of an iron jug okay uh, this is around i think some 30 kg i don't know whatever 10 kg or 20 kg whatever okay each one is around 20 kg it is a rusted 60 70 years old thing okay what, what is the price can anyone unmute and tell me what is the price of this it's a proper iron only iron nothing else it is like 60 years or 70 years old completely rusted yeah what should be the price for this can anyone tell me what should be the price for this anyone unmute and tell me acha how much are you going to buy let's say it is 20 kg someone is writing as scrap yeah of course good who wants to buy with me i'm doing an auctioning here go tell me unmute unmute quick 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 why would somebody even buy this dava I don't, I don't know okay fine okay fine you don't <laughs> good who wants to participate here next one option 2 minimal price okay bid starts with 1 rupee go who wants to buy this it's a rusted 70 years old stuff anyone else no acha no one wants to buy it here okay 1 rupee 50 paisa very good sir okay anyone would like to go beyond that just give me high five it's a 20 kg just give me a high five just give me a high five it is fine i'm just waiting for the last one last option to go high no one shall i give it to him hello okay so in this community no one is giving you now let me tell you a different story okay how many of you guys know what you know uh, that uh, there is a person called bruce lee anyone knows bruce lee ha huh? martial arts good so bruce lee you know when he was doing this martial arts and all these things he found out that traditional martial art is not working effectively in urban combat systems that means in you know a small area it does not work or probably he found out certain things so he came out with a new concept which is called as jit kondu anyone knows about this name it's a new martial art okay it's called jit kondu jit kondu became very famous in this entire thing and since you know bruce lee so everyone started to learn about jit kondo and bruce lee found out to use this new way of martial art which is probably he has got millions of fans now okay who are practicing this art for many many years this martial art to train you need little weights you need little weights so bruce lee used certain things okay in his lifetime he used certain things in his lifetime and i am not sure if i can show you some some good amazing photos of that okay and uh, yeah just one second hold on yeah so he used certain certain dumbbells certain barbells and the photo that i'm showing it to you i don't know if you can have a look at it this is in auction okay this is in auction okay this is what uh, bruce lee was using 70 years back this is the only one piece in entire world and here it comes along with this book called as bruce lee's fighting methods okay now this is only one piece in this entire world so now tell me what is the value of this piece of iron junk that you put it as 1 rupee 50 paisa now unmute and tell me unmute 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 quick you can unmute right yeah could be millions but you never wanted to pay 
unless and until I added value to that piece of crap. Yes or no? Money loves value. I hope this session is powerful enough to give you a new dimension. If you are feeling yourself like this iron dust, you feeling that everything is done in my life, you just need to add that value. Come to the God mode. Write down in the comment section and write RMO. Reach me out with your phone number or something and let the family reach out to you. Today itself is the last day because tomorrow we are starting this. If you want to add value to your life, somewhere you need to know how to add that element of value that you stand out, you become rare, you become powerful and you become authority. So with that, let me pause today's session. I hope the session was powerful enough. I'll see you very shortly, very, very powerful because the next month, one of you guys is going to be budding out of this entire thing like a beautiful butterfly. I will see you on the other side. Bye-bye. Take care. Sign up.